Interviews with your favorite stars. TBN presents Christian Celebrity Showcase. Raised in a theatrical family, she was known for her television roles as Billy Joe in Petticoat Junction and Sally Ann in My Three Sons. Later in her career, she produced television specials and won an Emmy as a talk show host. Dale Evans welcomes actress Meredith McRae. You know, you have so many credits. I didn't realize all the things that you have done, and you've had some marvelous honors. And I, I, I want to, I want to read some of these. I'm gonna put on my glasses, okay? Because <laughs> oh, I want the You're people going to, to know. Me out. No, no, no. <laughs> people must know about you, what you have done, because you've done some terrific things, oh, thank Meredith. You. I remember you as a child on the Dinah Shore show. That's right. And when we were all there assembled with several people, your family and our family, and was there and Dinah Shore. And Dinah, Dinah Shore's, Shore's yes. family, and I think it was just the three of us. The and there were so us. many kids, and we had a great time. Oh, I know. We I kids know. had a lot of mischief on the set, as I recall. Yeah, but I remember just being, when your father sang, he had yeah. such a pretty voice. He did. A beautiful That's voice. That's right. Of course, my dad was Gordon McRae, which I, yeah, I, I, I know. you know, it's one of those things now, I don't know whether people know who my father was or not. I was telling someone the other day that when I started out in the business, I was known as Gordon and Sheila's daughter. Uh -huh. And then you sort of work hard for many years, and suddenly you're Meredith McRae. Yeah. And then sometimes I wonder, well, do people know my parents are my parents, you know? Well, honey, that's a good thing. I guess that so. That you have to work hard to establish you. That's right. I want to tell you about Meredith McRae, some of the things <laughs> she has done. Emmy, right? Yes. For uh, Mid Morning LA. Los Angeles. That's How right. long were you on that? I was on that show for seven years as wow. the hostess and interviewer. Oh, my. And I loved it. You've learned to be a producer, haven't you? I have. I've been producing for, I guess, about the past three years, and I enjoy it very much. Yeah. The first thing that I produced, well, years ago, a film, but then I didn't do anything for a while. And um, Born Famous, as I mentioned, is, mm -hmm. is a show that I've mm -hmm. been producing for the past two years. We've mm -hmm. done. 10 specials. It's quite kind of similar to Barbara Walters type specials, yes, in-depth yes. interviews. Mm -hmm. Then my mother, Sheila and I. She's so talented. She is. Very talented. She and I produced a special called Friends and Lovers where famous people talk about love and romance and friendship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then um, I'm currently co-exec producing um, a special for ABC called Scandals, if you can uh -huh. believe that. Uh -huh. And then another partner and I produced a special on alcoholism. In fact, we just won an Angel Award recently. You How and Roy, great. Roy were yes. there. Yes. And I dedicated the show <coughs> to my father. Uh -huh. It's called A Second Chance Surviving Alcoholism. That and is And I really neat. did a lot of research on that. And um, I travel around the country giving speeches about being the child of an alcoholic because, of course, my dad well, that's very was an brave, alcoholic. Honey. But he was sober the last seven years of his life. So. Oh, what a blessing. Yes. Isn't that great? Because really, an alcoholic is on another plane. It's so difficult to be close to them because they're just not That's on right. the same plane with you. But really. you have to love them anyway. That's right, Absolutely. honey. Absolutely. You really do. And uh, do you work with AA? Or, or did you go, do right, the... Right, I'm uh, part of the NCA, the National Council on Alcoholism. I and see. And I give speeches, and as a matter of fact, I'm honorary chairperson every year of Alcohol Awareness Month, where you oh, great. talk to people about thinking about their drinking if they do drink and mm -hmm. trying to give up drinking for a weekend and if you find that you have a hard time doing that then maybe you are an alcoholic and need help oh mm -hmm. when did your father first discover that he had a problem because so many don't they don't believe they have a problem and that they can handle it you know that's right well when he discovered it and when he began to have it are two separate things Dale I remember the first time I ever saw my father drunk I was 10 years old and he That's was, traumatic. It was terrible. It was the night my brother Bruce was born, and my mother, of course, was in the hospital having just given birth to Bruce, and he came stumbling into my sister's and my bedroom. I remember we had these two twin beds and hardwood floors, and mm -hmm. he fell down on the floor and, and said, you know, we have a baby brother. And while I was thrilled to have a baby brother, I was absolutely terrified because I'd never seen my father like that. Yes. But most alcoholics go through periods of denial. And so for many years, my father denied that he had a problem. And finally, you know, he learned that he had a problem and mm -hmm. he decided that he would quit drinking. I think one of the things that happens in an alcoholic family is you tend to think that you can get the alcoholic to stop drinking and you can't. No. Only the alcoholic can get the alcoholic yeah. to stop drinking. So therefore you need to get help yourself. Mm -hmm. Do a lot of prayer work of course in the oh, meantime. Yes. Oh yes. And just know that, that, you can, that you need help if you live in an alcoholic family. You need help yourself. That's right. What is it, Al-Anon? There are a lot of groups available. There's uh -huh. Al-Anon for kids. There's Alateen. 
there's ACOA, Adult Children of Alcoholics. Mm -hmm. There's also something called codependency groups. And now that that now you realize that if you are in an alcoholic family, that you are codependent as well in the sense that alcohol yes. has affected your life so much mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So all of those groups are very helpful. It's a wonderful thing when an alcoholic finally says, I am an alcoholic. Yes. And I cannot help myself. That's right. That's just great. Well, I see that also you have the Susan Award, National Leukemia Broadcast Council. Yes. That's great. <clears throat> you also have done some work for cerebral palsy, haven't you? I certainly have. My, my two really favorite charities are World Vision and United Cerebral Palsy. And uh, each year I've been hosting the Cerebral Palsy Telethon here in Los Angeles locally. Uh -huh for, oh, how many years? Maybe 15, 17, a lot of years. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. I, I, I like it very much. And I really like to see, you know, as with World Vision, you see where the money goes. The same thing is true with cerebral, United Cerebral mm -hmm. Palsy because mm -hmm. you see the progress that these children make year after year and all the help that they yes, get. It's wonderful. Yes. But you've done uh, some pictures too, haven't you? I've done some films. Some of them I kind of try to forget. <laughs> <laughs> the first film Don't I ever did was oh. Beach Party and Bikini Beach, and then I did a film with Joe Namath. I played his first girlfriend in his first movie called Norwood oh. for Paramount. He's quite a hunk. I did a film <laughs> called Sketches of a Strangler. Oh, mercy. Um, I've done some, <laughs> some interesting ones, yes. Oh, good. Have you done any stage work? I've done a lot of theater, um, not recently. Mm -hmm. uh, my career has sort of shifted lately to interviewing, hosting, mm -hmm. and producing. Mm -hmm. I do some singing occasionally, Good. but I've done a lot of plays. I did Picnic and Bye Bye Birdie and Cabaret and, oh, and a, lot of, good a lot of theater uh -huh. and musical comedy, which I, which I enjoy. What about your spiritual life? Well, my spiritual life, I certainly very much believe in God. And one of the things that we didn't mention, but that AA and Al-Anon and all those groups do very much believe in God. I they know. call God a higher power. Yeah. And I think that a lot of people are becoming Christians or believing in God mm -hmm. just by going to AA. You know, you mm -hmm. might go to AA or mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Al-Anon and not think that that's a part of it, but it mm -hmm. is, and I think that that sort of seeps into you. I have, you know, you mentioned having some hard times. I have yes. had some, some hard times. Um, I have been going through a divorce for the past two years, mm -hmm. which is a very trying time where you're, oh, you're, my, yes. your faith is very much tested and tried. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just kind of coming out of that. You know, divorce, in a way, is like a death. Mm -hmm. It really very is. Much so. And then, of course, my father died three years ago, which is something that I had I to know. adjust to. I was very close to my dad. But I also believe, I don't think that people should think of themselves as victims. I think that you need to move forward. And if your mm -hmm. father was an alcoholic, okay, he was an alcoholic. But mm -hmm. now what? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with your life now? Mm -hmm. I think that re really we need to be very forgiving in oh, our yes, lives. Oh, yes, that's what Jesus taught. <laughs> Forgiveness Forgive. and gratitude are the two yes. biggest words in my life, Dale, that have mm -hmm. gotten me through these past mm -hmm. few years. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important every day to express your gratitude to the Lord. Yes. I think I even do it when I find a parking space. So do I. I say, thank you, Lord, for my parking so space. So do I, Meredith. And I, I think that same. when you get in the habit of that, then uh -huh. you don't take things for granted. When I lose things, I say, Lord, please. I do too. You know, you know my frame, please. You know, and I always. <laughs> and when you I find it, thank you. Right? I do, and invariably I find it pretty quickly when mm -hmm. I ask him. Absolutely. It's when we. That's that's so true in our lives when we try to do it all ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, on our own steam, realizing that he was the creator and that he's there and that he cares, and that he knows better than anyone how to help you. Absolutely. How to develop you. I'd like to have a prayer with you. I okay. Love to. Love okay. To. Love. Lord, we thank you for Meredith, for her family, for her Allison. We thank you for her career and the gifts that you have given her. Lord, we just ask your presence in her life and that she understands that you're ever present with her by your Holy Spirit. And we ask you through your Holy Spirit to lead her into all truth because this sometimes is a bewildering business.